a stat somewhere, 75 to 90 percent of adult visits to primary care physicians are stress-induced. Wow. Probably the visit causes stress <laughs> as well. But uh, we need to talk to an authority right now. Dr. Rosemary <laughs> Anderson. Hi. Good to have you. Welcome to the evidence. You, you are chair of the International Stress Management Association. UK. UK. Mm -hmm. But you are a biochemist. I am, yeah. How could a biochemist go into stress management? What's up with that? Well, that's what it's all about, really. I mean, when we're under threat, whether it's real, whether it's we're facing muggers, or whether it's psychological and we're going for an interview, yeah. then our response, our stress response, is a biochemical response. A lot of changes happen in your body, and it's understanding that. And if we don't do anything about it and we carry on without taking the rest, mm -hmm. then that's when we become physically ill, which is what we've seen here. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what's mm -hmm. been happening. So if you understand the biochemistry, you can mm -hmm. do something about it and know what to do. So how do I know that I am maxing out at stress? I mean, what are, what are the, the warning uh, signs for me? Well, there's, there's various ones. The warning signs are the early ones, and we can classify them as physiological, okay. psychological, behavioral. So the physiological ones might be things like headaches. Uh, we might start to get rashes, eczema, that mm. type of thing flare up. Mm -hmm. You've got cold sores, very small things, but really good signs. Psychologically, you might start to get a bit snappy, tearful. You know, the last straw syndrome when people mm. say, oh, I'd only, I only said that, I don't know what's wrong with that. Mm. So things like that. And behavioural, you just start to make mistakes and you're a bit confused, late for things. But then gradually, if we don't do something about it, it sort of goes down. If you imagine it's a hill and we've climbed to the top of the hill, mm -hmm. we start going over the top, then we sort of suddenly start and going really quickly. And it starts accelerating these, down, these symptoms. Yeah. And that can lead to physical and mental illnesses, arthrosclerosis, lots of heart mm -hmm. conditions, mm -hmm. um, medical, um, mental illnesses mm -hmm. like depression, all that type of thing. Question, is there any hope for us type A's. Oh, I think Come so. Come on, society is yes. filled with them, yes. <laughs> right? A hope for us? Yes, because the type A is, is fine. It's okay to be a type A. Okay. There's this bit of a misconception that type A's are the rush around headless chickens sort of people that do too much. Okay. But the research seems to show that it's more, type A's are more prone to coronary problems, to hypertension, heart attacks. Right. But it's a hostility thing. It's not actually a type A behavior. It's whether it's accompanied by aggression and hostility. So okay. you take it out on other people and start shouting a lot. Uh, so you can be type rage. A, type A, but if you can manage hostility, yeah, inner, yeah, inner turmoil, yeah, yeah. It's, it's okay. It's, it's not okay. a sin to be a type A. It's okay to, to be under pressure in any sort of shape or form. It's right. good for us. We yeah. need pressure. Yeah. It's when it's too much. It's when we don't do anything about it, when we accumulate it. So what advice would you give to people that are at the top of that hill that you described and are heading for the decline? How do they stop that decline? Right. Well, first of all, they've got to identify what the causes are because if you don't know what that is, you can't do anything about it. Mm. So identify what's causing it. And then you have to start changing be your behaviour. And as Henry was saying earlier on, you know, he was a really good example of somebody mm. who's doing the right type of behaviour. So you prioritise, plan time management, make sure you have time, you don't procrastinate, you get ordered. Mm -hmm. Don't keep saying yes all the time. Learn to say no, be a little bit more assertive. You, yes, we want to please others, of course we want to be kind and help people, but mm -hmm. you know, get it in perspective. And if you can change some of your behavior patterns, then that actually helps you. Sometimes life throws things at us. You can change, you can plan all you like, and you still get stuck in a traffic jam. Mm -hmm. So that will still cause you problems. So it's then it's changing your perceptions. Uh, Henry was talking about laughing and seeing the funny side of things, not letting things get to him. Absolutely. Learn to get that control back by changing your perceptions. If you're stuck in a traffic jam, you can't do anything about it. Mm. You're going to be late whether no. your blood pressure goes through the roof or not. In just a minute, we want to take a look at that uh, one possible response. But Dr. Rosemary Anderson, what a treat to have you on The Evidence. Mm -hmm.